I've got something so delicious for you. A nice barbecue chicken leg. Mmm. Vegetarian? No problem. Here's a crisp flatbread pizza. The catch? You must stake your life on it. You've been warned. Well, not really. But with new research showing up regarding the potentially mutagenic effects of eating well done food, should you worry? Here's the scoop. When food is cooked over an open flame or in a hot pan, basically whenever you start to see that blackened look, certain chemical reactions take place which generate heterocyclic amines and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons among others. These are very stable molecules and require prolonged high heat for formation. However, dun dun dun, here's where it gets ugly. When the body goes about breaking down HCAs and PCAs, certain mutagenic molecules are formed, which may damage or alter DNA. DNA damage is associated with cancer, since cancer cells typically have lost the body's own anti-cancer mechanisms, which are coded for in DNA. Acetylation, a process which occurs in the cytosol of some cells to break down heterocyclic amines, have been shown to generate reaction intermediates which bind to DNA and are mutagenic. Also, when researchers fed mice thousands of times the amount of HCAs and PCAs found in burnt food, cancerous tumors develop in the mice. But these findings should be taken with a grain of salt. The body's own metabolic pathways produce many mutagenic free radicals, which are neutralized by antioxidants found in fruits and vegetables. An exposure to ultraviolet or UV rays from the sun can be more damaging than mutagens from burnt food. The point is, although burnt food may slightly increase cancer risk, it's probably not reasonable to dread over it. After all, humans have been cooking food over fire for hundreds of thousands of years. In Wonderwork Cave, archaeologists discovered ancient human predecessors cooking food over fire one million years ago. The widespread cooking over fire and necessity of fire for early humans means many HCAs, PCAs, and acrylamides were likely consumed by early humans, sometimes even daily. If it were so dangerous in terms of complications, those who did not evolve ways to deal with these issues would not have survived very long.